one it says, um, if you believe this as a kid, those who don't believe go to hell. Then right now you may be struggling with fear of being wrong. And I will say as a religious trauma coach and in this world of religious deconstruction, the biggest thing is probably what if I'm wrong and I go to hell? What if every, what if they were all right and I'm wrong? Well, first of all, I want you to know that as a as a as a previous Christian, an ex-evangelical, I can tell you that even when I was in the church, even when I was living the life, I was believing the stuff, I was praying, I was devoting my time, I was reading scripture, it never left my mind that what if I'm still going to go to hell? What if I'm still not good enough? How many times have most of us repeated the sinner's prayer and, and recommitted our lives again and again and again? And because what if, what if we didn't quite get it right? So I want you to remember that because humans really don't have any concrete facts about what happens after we die. Um, we all have fear. We all have some fear of the unknown. That's, that's, that's humanity. That's being a human. We're conditioned for survival. So when there's something we don't know and we can't control, fear comes into it. And so I want you to realize that it's, it's not wrong to be a little fearful of what happens after death. But I do want to encourage you, if you are struggling with those thoughts, to start studying the history of hell, the history of the Bible, why hell wasn't really a thing until the New Testament, and was it even really a thing then? So I am not here to guide you through all that right now, but I encourage you after these videos to dive a little bit deeper.